OHR, back at lakes. This time we're in Ambleside again. We're off up a uh, Wansfell Pike. Bit of wild camping. Fancy it? As always, come along. Enjoy the journey. Let's go. people welcome back to the channel as I said we're uh, heading up Wansfell Pike back in the Lake District again absolutely fantastic I'm just visiting um, Stockgill Falls uh, as you've seen in the early footage so I'm gonna crack on crack on again crack on let's see what's this to offer and then get on the route to where uh, Wansfell Pike uh, it's just up that way I'll show you later on. It's all good. Take it easy, people. Peeps, I hope you can hear me. I've not got the microphones on. Uh, I don't want you to listen to me every breathe as I'm going up that hill. So I hope you can hear me. Anyway, I'm just going to get some layers off. 
because uh, it's going to get hot going up there so I'm going to change, get some lays off and then uh, I'll crack on again, crack on so many times I can say it we'll uh, get on up that hill and uh, I'll speak to you in a bit when we get further on show you what's going on come on Up there we're going. Nice wild camp up there. Beautiful. Nice for living. Yeah, right, folks. Peepers. Look at this. Wow. Just don't do it justice. See the Langdale's there. Baby Ike. Harrison Stickle. Moving down to the old man of Coniston. But my, I'm going up this path here and then up to that. Up there. The wild camp. So it should be good. So I'm just going to. Get up on this, uh, one sec, turn you around. Just gonna go up these steps here, and there's a path that takes you, meanders right up. It's only about half a mile, but it's quite steep. So I'm gonna crack on, probably have a break halfway up, and I'll bring you back. Bring you back, I'll bring you back, baby, bring you back. Views are well opening up now, beautiful sky. Apple side down there in the valley. As I said, the Langdale's over there. Heading round, you've got Kirkstone Pass going through there. Red Screes. Awesome. So yeah, I've uh, got to tackle them. Show you. Up there. So yeah, I'm not hang about too long, I'm going to get cold. So I shall speak to you in a bit, people. Whoa. All right, people, halfway up. Get out. Absolutely epic. Yeah, well, I'm plodding on. I will be fit. Keep doing this. Get rid of this chin. <laughs> anyway, knees are holding up so far. Uh, I just keep looking back at these views and it just uh, keeps you going, man. You can see uh, just over there, you can see Kirkstone Pass. Is it Kentmore Horseshoe? Humble side down there. Absolutely stunning. I'm going to crack on. I'll speak to you in a bit. Right, peeps. Just having a breather. It's very steep, it's very rocky. But well, we're doing it. I'm well, not fair to go. I'm about two thirds of the way up. And I can sit down and have a brew, get a tent up. I'm chilling. But I'm certainly not coming back down this way. There's no way I'd do it. I'd be rolling down on my belly. Like a big umba lumper. <laughs> like a telly dubby coming off his hill. Woo! <laughs> you don't laugh, you'd cry. No, I'm going a different walk uh, back down. It's quite um, gradual. Brings you out on the other side of wind, um, Amble side. Uh, so in the morning, that's what I'll do because there's no way I could walk down this. But I'm heading just up there, just on the top there, I think. So yeah, turn you around. You can see the struggle. And just if you zoom in there, you can just about see the Kirkstone in. That's the Kirkstone Pass. You follow that down, it'll take you down to Woolswater. Brilliant. 
Oh, awesome. Over there is Lufrig Fell. That's what I was stranded on the other week when it was uh, windy. Beautiful. You got the Langdales in the background there. Stunning. Right, peeps, final push. Not final. It's been hard work, that. Not so much on my uh, It's just on my knees. But I'm definitely getting fitter. And staying off that beer has just worked wonders, man. Never again. It's done with that shit. Done with it. Especially when I've got stuff like this on. You know, on my doorstep. I want to be doing more of it. And I can't, I can't be doing that when I'm drinking. So yeah man, upward and onward. So I'll bring you back when we get to the top. Let's see what them views are like. Not far now, final push. See you in a bit. Right people, I'm all pitched up. Um, I'm gonna get it tented very quick because it's quite windy and it's icy. But check this out, you ready? people uh, I've not set microphone or, or light up just yet I've just um, got him all my down gear so I'm nice and warm I was getting a bit cold so I've just put up I've just put a brew on and I'm uh, having a pot noodle hey <laughs> good old pot noodle um, but I have got some food later on to cook um, and I want to show you that because it's uh, it's using them silver bags I bought. I don't know if I told you about them yet, but I'll uh, I'll let you know so what they are. And basically, when I do the batch cooking at home, I put some in, in the in the silver bags, and I can just bring them camping and warm them up. I'll show you later on. So one of one of my ideas for for future vlogs is 
is I, I want to do a wild camp or a camping and then the food bit with the with the silver bags tied in with a, a cook at home and show you exactly how we cook it only quick um, and then obviously it just gives you some ideas for uh, for different camp foods um, so yeah that's uh, something I want to tie in later on in the vlogs so for now I'm just gonna have this brew um, warm myself up and uh, chill out but as you see from the in the views it's awesome so we're all snug i'll catch you in a bit peace out man red wrap all snug you should be able to hear me i haven't got the microphones on like i say uh I just sat before, I sat on the, just the grassy verge over there, just overlooking Windermere and uh, uh, the sun setting, the bright red sky. And I just sat there for about half an hour, I didn't move, I just took it in, I had no thoughts in my head, it's just unbelievable. Just lost, lost in my own world, absolutely fantastic, pure escapism. I, c I couldn't recommend it enough. So I'd work getting up here, and obviously you need all gear and that, but even if you don't camp out, just get up on these fells and check it out, man. Wish I'd done it sooner. Man, you always into cycling, man, so. But anyway, that's enough of me chatting shite. If you can hear me. I'm going to have a pot noodle chair. Nice, uh, chow mein naked pot noodle. Right, peoples. Uh... Like I said, I had that pot noodle in a brew. I've got some other food, but I have, fuck, it's too cold to be fucking about cooking. I'm, I'm toast as fucking this sleeping bag and that, but I can't be arse moving. So I'm going to do some, um, some uh, eye prolapse of the stars. And uh, I'll do some of the uh, overlooking Windermere. That looks class. And I'll do a bit of the, of the moon. And then... Uh, I'll probably see you in the morning. So it's good night from Major. See you later. <laughs> fucking love it. I got a bit emotional before watching that view. It's fucking something else, man. Anyway, catch you later, people. See you morning. guys it's about half past four I've just had a just had a pash a pash and um it's clagged in everywhere just uh when you say clag if you don't know basically means that the mist has just surrounded the mountain so I might not be able to there's no views but we'll see what it's like later on but I won't be doing too much filming because I'm gonna need my battery to go uh, to use my GPS to get uh, follow the tracks because you can't see them basically uh, so that's an experience but it's still early so it, um, we'll see how it is later on but for now uh, I'm going back to Cape main thing is I'm boy I'm been proper toasty winds picked up a bit outside uh, but we're all good we'll see you soon Morning, but <coughs> bloody hell. <coughs> ah. Stay again. Morning, folks. Um, wind's gone up a little bit. Um, it's clagged in badly. I'll show you in a bit. I'm just um, just making a brew, and getting some porridge on. Get a bit of scram down me. Um, slept really good to be honest. Um, quite warm. Well, well warm. Um, I was a bit cold just getting in to the tent. Took me about half an hour to, to start warming up, but once I did, I was right. 
so yeah um as i say i didn't i didn't cook any any food later on it was too cold to be messing about i was causing me kit bag so there was no food last night just the pot noodle so i'm gonna make a porridge and i'm gonna brew and then start knocking this tent down but i'll show you the uh i'll show you outside in a bit it's uh it's grim so yeah i've got to i've got to wear uh, got to go and face that but it's all part of this parcel from from sunsets to clag banging speak to you in a bit Right folks, as you can hear, the wind's picked up. Um, it's changed direction, so it's blowing right into my door. Um, but I've got everything, everything's packed. So I just need to get out now and strike this tent down um, and get off this bloody hill. So I will uh, try and sh I'll try and show you some footage of outside, but if not, I'll see you when I get back down there. Take it easy people, all's good in the hood with the MC snappy crude. Things catching a bit. Well, 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 people, that was a mad experience. 
I'm back at the train station. Uh, getting off that mountain was uh, crazy shit. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you to um, to the maps. I'm going to show you what, what happened and where, where I kind of went wrong. Um, I've just uh, got train station, just changed a couple of tops, wind myself up a bit. I'm absolutely soaked. Um, I'll tell you something now, I've never felt as alive in my life, even though it was mental and I was, you'll see anyway. So yeah, we're going to have a look at the, the maps and um, I'll speak to you in a minute when you've seen where what, what went on. Oh, <laughs> crazy days, man. But I'm back at train station. Uh, train's in about 20 minutes, so all good. Speak to you in a bit. All right, folks, welcome to the map window. Something I've uh, not done before, but I'll, uh, I won't be using a lot. I just want to show you what I did and where I went. So leaving Ambleside, let's just slow this down a little bit. So leaving Ambleside, we ambled up through the ambled up, get that amble, amble side. We went through the woods and at this point I turned left into these woods here, which was the Stockgill Forest Waterfalls, as seen. Um, so then I, I, I kind of meandered through there and joined up with the wall around here. Um, so yeah, so I didn't actually do this little bit, but you get what I'm on about. So then as I joined the road about here, we walked up to the first stile, which was there, um, obviously crossing onto the main path. Now the first section here wasn't too bad, a few steps. Um, and there was a there was a bridge, uh, a stile here, um, and that's when it start, started to ramp up, um, just steps basically, step after step, and obviously with my knees, the walking poles work brilliantly. So yeah, so we. Um, speed it up a little bit so yeah we we plod, plodded on up there best we could a couple of pictures here and there um, we stopping um, made a couple of phone calls around there Debbie if you're watching big shout out to Debs who were called when I was on the mountain going up anyway um, so yeah we then carried on up to the summit um, over the summer and then I kind of one sec I kind of camped around this section here which overlooked the uh, overlook Windermere and as you've seen from the photographs um, so I'll speed it up because I didn't do this now this was the proposed route back down so you took you along the marshes um, out wide there through the flatland it was quite gradual a lot easier than going down the steps as I said and then you turn right onto the Roman Road, um, back down into Stockgill Woods, um, and then back down to Ambleside. So that was the kind of proposed route. Um, let's slow this down. So let me show you where I where, where I went wrong and what happened coming down. So obviously you in in the morning it was clagged in, very hard to see paths get your bearings where you were, it's, it's, it's really strange. So, let's stop out there. So, at the top here, there's a wall that runs across both ways. Now I'd seen, if you follow the path to the left, it takes you to One's Fell, not the pike, One's Fell. It's a little bit higher, but uh, less uh, beaten track there. But I was on the other side here. I, I cut through a, a style here and I, I seen, I remember there was a path going this way and for some reason I assumed that was the path I was meant to be taking because I knew it was taking me back down the hill um, so I kind of followed the path this way over uh, and I knew where to turn right at some point and I did come to a stile about here and there was a footpath clearly on the other side so I jumped over um, followed the footpath here which then just stopped there was another path that kind of took me this way, but at this point I was in the middle of nowhere with no path in, in swamps and uh, reed grass and dead bracken, um, bogs and all sorts. So I knew that if I followed this wall, I was heading down. So I thought, sod this. So I kind of negotiated the best way I could down. And then there was, a, there was a, a hole in the wall, it had collapsed, which was, you know, 
so it was a bit of luck really because I could climb over it well best I could bumble over it and I could see the path that I took going up so I thought well the best thing I can do is kind of head in this direction down to the to the path because it was obviously too too hard to walk straight across because it was steep you can tell by the gradient there so I kind of like walked sideways on an angle through those woods and I joined back up with the path there so it wasn't so bad but it wasn't ideal um, and then again I got I was back on the path which I didn't really want to do so it took me quite a while to negotiate those steps um, but we did that so and then I obviously went back down into Ambleside to finish it so there you go that's the map hope you enjoyed just finish that off see you later well 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 peoples it's a couple of days later after the after the walk um i've had time to reflect on it i've just been out on another walk uh three mile went in the cold pool this morning so i'm ready for a shower and some food anyway on reflection it just shows how how um the mountains like that the lakes of scotland whatever can change just instantly like that from being glorious to just clag rain wind rain um just overnight or it can do it can do it in the matter of half an hour um so you've got to be prepared it's not it's not something you can take lightly but as I've said all along, this is my journey from the beginning. It's all new to me as well. Each each time I'm I'm learning, which is 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 the main thing. Obviously, if you if you make mistakes, you learn. That's the best thing. And uh, if you don't, if you take yourself out of your comfort zone, you're going to learn and progress. So I'm happy with that, even though it went kind of wrong. Three things I've learned from it is one is uh, I need a better waterproof jacket. I know it's. Um, just uh, material things but uh, that one is really just for showers and it, it rained constant two is check my bloody maps more regularly even though it was raining and three make sure that when i finish the walk that i change my clothes and don't sit in cold damp clothes like, it's stupid really because it's a childhood schoolboy era i mean i had a down jacket a base layer and another jacket in my, in my rucksack and I could have quite easily gone in a toilet somewhere and changed that and then I, I'd have been alright because I was sat on the train getting back shivering really so it was daft but it was fine it was only an hour journey and I got home and it was a massive learning curve but as I say it was an absolutely fantastic experience and I'm uh, glad you shared it with me um, so if you're still here at the end absolutely fantastic so just on that note my channel's growing, subscriptions are growing, views are growing, so so I'm doing something right. So if you haven't already, give us a like, a subscribe, I'm one of them, and um, I'll catch you in the next video. So I've got something nice planned for that, and possibly a new uh, piece of equipment to test. So yeah, so thanks for watching, absolutely brilliant, love you all, peace out, remember, smile, and life will smile back. Take it easy. Bullshit, guy.